For those fortunate enough to have escaped with their lives, the loss is still devastating. Entire neighborhoods are destroyed. Our Vanessa Perez has the story of a family grateful to be alive tonight. This is what's left behind homes and cars burned. It's absolutely devastating to see the loss in this community. We saw fire crews and a Vista crews working here earlier today. Some families even getting a firsthand look at things now reduced to rubble and ash. My family is safe. Um, my son wanted to stay here and fight it. Tori Carl gives us an idea of what his home looked like. 30 years of memories now rubble. There was a window here above a stairway. Our kitchen was right here. Then the master bedroom was over there. Carl was notified by the fire captain who lives up the road that his home didn't make it through the gray fire. It's not an exaggeration, one iota. The tree went up and 100 yards later, the, gra the alfalfa went up. I mean, just boom, boom. The Carl family came by Saturday to look at the devastation left behind. A bird bath his wife recently made is still standing and their chickens made it out alive. Carl, a local wrestling coach, is keeping the same mentality through this loss. We're wrestlers. We don't just roll over and die. The heck with that, man. We're going to put up a house right here again. Um, what it'll be, we don't know, but we're not going anywhere. They were able to pack some family pictures. The Carl family tells me they'll be staying with friends during this time. Reporting in Medical Lake, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now.